Hey, it's Jason from Bohemia Bees and uh, on the Eastern Shore of Maryland here at Bohemia Apiary. And uh, we are going to review a product that we were uh, offered to take a look at as an alternative to the mealworms that we typically feed our flocks of chickens. So as you know, if you follow on the channel, we typically do bee videos, right? We do a lot of videos around bees. We've done a couple videos about our, our coop setup that we have here that's worked really well for us uh, with our chicken flock. Um, and I want to take a minute to talk about um, the things you feed your chickens, right? So we try to find the, the best ingredients to feed our chickens here on the eastern shore of Maryland. Um, our chickens do have an area to roam and, for, and forage, but because due to some of the predators in the area, we do keep them in a run uh, a good portion of the time, or say probably about 50% of the time, and the other 50% during the day. And when we're out and about, we allow them to free range. Uh, being cooped in a coop, right, um, chickens don't always find the necessary uh, balance in diet that they need to. And so you can subsidize that with, you know, good good food sources, whether it be your, a mixture of your normal feed that you feed them during the day or the treats that you give them. A lot of people will purchase mealworms uh, in bulk uh, or buy them from your norm, no, normal, um, you know, supply feed store. Um, but I want to talk to you about... And my rooster wants to talk to you about something called grub terra from grub terra black soldier fly larva from grub terra um, these uh, are something that i'm going to start to feed my chickens to see how well they like them they usually go nuts over the mealworms when i feed them that um, i don't expect them uh, to not go nuts over these um, but it's interesting because i think then if we give it, i'll know that i'll be giving them something healthy um, a lot of times those mealworms are produced in massive scale and in factories uh, that you don't know the conditions, you don't know what's in the, the byproduct or the parts or particulates that could get into those mealworms. And we wanted a healthy alternative for our flock as we like to eat healthy as well. They produce eggs for us every day. Um, so we want to give back to them exactly uh, what we actually have is healthy. So this grub terra black soldier fly larva, we've got a package over here. We're going to open it up, take a look what it looks like, feed it to the chickens and see if they like it. A couple things about this particular product. Um, it's, it's, uh, Grub Terra has done their research. Um, naturally they're farm raised, uh, black soldier fly larva. So, um, they're not coming from a factory somewhere where they're being made in mass scale. Uh, they, the main difference that I've noticed with this ingredients and the ingredients on a, another package of mealworms is the calcium, right? Uh, the calcium is, is way more than what you would see. It has a little bit less, pro, uh, uh, a little bit less of the crude protein, but the, the fat and fiber is about the same. The calcium is through the roof more. Uh, it's about 75% more than you have with a standard bag of mealworms. Um, naturally, they say that um, the calcium is what the, the chickens need because they're expending that calcium in their egg laying every single day. So you want to make sure that you can replace that. And the mealworms do that uh, in addition to their other feed that they have. Um, or really the mealworms, but the ingredient, the black soldier fly larva has a higher content of calcium, which is what's really needed. Um, so it looks like to me that they're local to me, actually, which is really good. They're located in New Jersey, which is right across the river for me, in Chester, New Jersey. They're produced. Um, this bag, this, this is an 80 ounce bag. Uh, they say it can feed up to 25 chickens per month. Um, you're going to give a small uh, amount to him every single day. Over, uh, it says they recommend feeding a handful of grub terra dry black soldier fly larvae to your chickens daily. This is a snack and should not be consist and should only consist of a few handfuls a day. So you shouldn't dump this into their feeder and eat it if you're thinking that. Um, the other thing that grub terra claims being a natural company um, is that they you know help keep the food waste out of the landfills. Right. So one pound of grub equals 20 pounds of food waste saved from landfills. So that's really another benefit that they have. Uh, they look like, a, a, again, a local company, uh, farm raised. They help keep the uh, feathers healthy on the chicken. They also help the, naturally with the calcium, keep the, uh, the eggs to be stronger. And he just has so much to say about, so much to say about the grub tear. I think he's just really saying, you know, Jason, can you shut up and give us some of the uh, black soldier life fly larva? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shut up and give him some fly larva and see if they like it. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so we've opened the package up. It was sealed and packed. So a lot of times what really frustrates me about when you buy mealworms is you don't feel like you've got a full bag. You always feel like you got a lot of air in that bag. This is packed. These, uh, 
you know, these black soldier fly larvae look in great condition. They don't look like to be in a lot of little pieces like you get sometimes in the other ones. They look to be very big. And, uh, and so we're gonna try them out. So let's take a small handful of these and let's feed them to our chickens. Since you were the loudest over here, Mr. Blue Copper Moran, how about we feed them to you first? Let's see when they have black fly larva from Grub Terra, what they do. There we go. Oh, he's saying, what do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here, girls? He's calling them in, saying, we've got something amazing. Look at them tearing them up, searching for them. They've got corn all over the ground over there, and they're picking through the corn to eat the Grub Terra black soldier fly. Oh, look at it. That's a broody hen, ladies and gentlemen. Broody hen just came running out. Did you just see that? She came running out of that. She's broody right now, does not move very much, and she ran out to grab the grub tears. If that's not evidence that these things are well desired by uh, these chickens, I don't know what is. Well, there you have it. I'll probably give them another handful uh, just to get them started because it's something new for them, um, and they're probably going nuts over them. So uh, that's my uh, review of the grub terra soldier fly larva at bohemia apiary here on the eastern shore of maryland where beekeeping for us is definitely more than a hobby so are chickens more than a hobby they both are an obsession thanks a lot grub terra happy birds happy birds <laughs>